Families of drunk driving victims urge lawmakers to pass a bill they say would strengthen DUI laws in South Carolina. They held a news conference this morning to show their support for an ignition interlock device bill. Our Jason Raven tells us what changes they're hoping to see. The safety advocates say in 2019 alone, the ignition interlock devices prevented close to 2,000 attempts to drive drunk here in South Carolina. Yeah, she would have been 16 today. David Longstreet says he would like to see more teeth added to the law named after his daughter, Emma, who was killed by a drunk driver at the age of six. So hard to understand why this is not getting done. And it's so simple, the, the statistics are there. The Mothers Against Drunk Driving say newly released numbers show that in 2019, 285 people died because of drunk driving in South Carolina. Now, South Carolina ranks in the top 10 states in DUI deaths, they say. And according to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, other states have passed bills similar to S-28 and have seen a decrease in fatalities. Essentially saying no to Senate Bill 28 is saying that 285 lives a year lost to drunk driving is fine. That being among the worst in the nation is just fine. That adding more and more pictures to the wall behind us is fine. Now right now, under Emma's law, some convicted drivers have to use an ignition interlock device in their vehicle. Repeat offenders or someone that had an alcohol blood content level over 0.15. S-28 would require every convicted DUI offender in South Carolina to have an ignition interlock device in their vehicle and it would increase the amount of time the device is in the car based on the number of DUI convictions. I like to say it just takes good judgment or it takes a good friend or it takes a designated driver or it takes a great public transportation system which we don't have but it looks like none of those have worked over the years. Technology may come to our rescue. The bill passed by a vote of 41 to 1 in the Senate. Now, Mothers Against Drunk Driving say they would like to see the bill passed in the House before the end of session in mid-May. No meeting has been scheduled in the House Judiciary Committee on S-28. In Columbia, Jason Ravens, 7 News. Now, under the bill, the ignition interlock devices are paid for by the offenders.